while using the Scar L suppressed, I run over to the left immediately as the match starts. I'm using the Portable Radar, the Semtex, I'm using Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Stalker for my perks. And I shoot this guy because I see him here, get a long shot, and then I decide to keep pushing on, get a second kill. And then I threw Portable Radar, and I almost died, but I shot, or, uh, I knifed that guy. Get a little UAV here. Almost eat shit right there, but I killed him. And uh, at this point, my heart's kind of beating because they they just they aren't stopping. They keep coming at me. Gunshot after gunshot. They're everywhere. And uh, over here, I just duck away because I'm like, oh shit, they're shooting right at me. Shoot this guy. I see a barrel right there. Hopefully, yep, there you go. It blew up. Got a free kill. Seven kills within 40 seconds. How about that? <laughs> What's up, guys? My name is Mike, and today I got a quick video. Um, I'm using... The Scar, like I said, and if you read the title, this is how to get almost a Moab in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Because in this video, I fail really badly. Uh, I'm sure you guys all have your experiences with Moabs, and uh, <laughs> we all have the ones where we fail so badly. But either way, I thought this was a pretty good gameplay, nevertheless, even though I didn't get my Moab. Um, I wasn't thinking about the Moab, which is why I got 7 kills so quickly. If I was, you know, intending to use to go for a Moab, I wouldn't have rushed there like a fucking maniac. But uh, in this case, I just, I just wanted some quick kills. I felt like a badass at the time, so that's what I did. And then over here, we got this guy uh, with Final Stand, which one of my hated freaking death streaks. I hate that perk, or death streak, whatever. And uh, I had my uh, attack heli and it shot him down, so I was pretty happy with that. I didn't have to deal with him. And uh. Yeah, uh, this is kind of a little video about the Moabs. I have no notes of this. I'm just talking through my brain right now. I have nothing. I, this is like an impromptu commentary. But uh, yeah, I had to pick up a CM9 actually. And that's because I didn't expect to get a Moab, like I said. And uh, I, I ran out of ammo because I'm using Sleight of Hand, which Sleight of Hand is such a good perk. Every, that's why everybody uses it. You know, it's a standard perk. It's nothing new, but... The, gun, the the perk is just so great, you know, I love being able to shoot, or not shoot, but uh, reload fast, that's one of them, I, I reload like every other kill, so that's so important to me, and you see here, I just pick up the same exact gun, I was like, really, okay, I was looking for a different gun, but whatever, so um, here's my second run through, I believe, of my kill streaks, going back on the kill streaks again, and usually when that happens, I start to realize that I'm actually doing pretty good, and uh, I'll, I, in this video, you'll see me. I'm slowly coming on to the thought that I could go for a Moab here. And you'll see me go from a rushing motherfucker to kind of a, a little, you know, laid you know, laid back defensive kind of guy. I wouldn't really call it camping, but there were some points where I was just kind of waiting for people to come by. And that's because I was, like, scared of shit. And uh, I think we all can relate to when we're on a high kill streak and our hearts are like beating so hard and it's like it's about to explode. It scares the shit out of me and I lose focus and usually I'll end up dying. And that's the hardest part about Moabs. It's not getting kills in Moab from Moab. It's not getting the kills for the Moab. It's really just that feeling it's just like, "Oh shit, I could actually go for this." And then your heart starts beating. It's like you're fucking working out or something. And, uh, it, it, it's so fucking scary, and it, it's nervous, and, uh, it, it, it fucks me over all the time. Remember in Modern Warfare 2, I would go for a nuke, and that game, if I compare it to Moab's today, I could probably get nukes all the time in Modern Warfare 2, I just haven't gone back to it, because I, really, if you guys know, I hate that game so, so much. But, uh, yeah, you only had to get seven kills in Modern Warfare 2, and then basically, you had your Harriers, then you just, you could camp it out, then you got your Chopper Gunner, so you only needed seven gun kills in that game, you, you only needed, you know, seven, seven, whatchamacallit, um, seven, yeah, gun streaks, you didn't really, <laughs> man, if they had Moabs earlier, that would have been a lot nicer, and people wouldn't be boosting for that shit. But, uh, yeah, at this point, I am, like, my heart is rushing so fast. I am nervous as shit. I'm just like, why do I have to focus so hard? And then I fuck up. I don't know how I did. That guy just turned around. He was aimed straight at me. I think he got a headshot on me. Man, that was, you know, that was really a shot to the heart. I, I really... <laughs> at this point, my heart is still beating, you know, like, for, like, a game, like, for the rest of the game and plus, like, the next game, my heart was still beating kind of fast. You know, it does that. God, I hate it, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I hate Moabs, but yet I still love them, I, I, I always try to go for them, because, you know, it's something a little new, and as much as I don't really want them in the next Call of Duty, 
they're they're cool to get they're fun but eh, i don't know it, it's more frustrating than it is fun at times so oh quick tip though before the match or the game's already over quick tip guys if you're going for a moab from my personal experience and i'm just saying this i don't have that many moabs but from my personal experience i've done way way better when I'm not focused and when I'm not paying attention to go to Moab. Don't go into a match thinking you're going to get a Moab. Well, don't go into a match trying to get a Moab. That's not the way to go about things and you're, you're just going to die and your heart's going to start beating like it did here because I started realizing what I was doing and it fucks you over. So, all right, guys, I'll see you next time. Tell me what you think about getting Moabs and uh, <laughs> your stories about them. I'd love to hear about them. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.